uh, children, uh, women and men, the young and the old, are living in terror. They're suffering in Ukraine and in so many different parts of the world, grieving about what they lost yesterday, holding their breath about what they could lose today and what tomorrow can bring. Uh, at a time like this, the law cannot be a spectator. The law cannot recline in comfort in The Hague or anywhere else for that matter um, when it's meant to protect and uphold certain principles that are essential for humanity. Just like a climate strategy and a COVID strategy, we need an accountability strategy. A strategy driven by the universal belief that all of us, all of us are protected by law ensuring that all roads lead to justice now and in the future. Ukraine calls on the establishment of a special tribunal which would have a specific jurisdiction over the crime of aggression against Ukraine. We have heard a number of reservations since the idea first floated in the early March. Most of them expressed concern that this effort could replace existing international courts and tribunals, thus weakening them. I want to clearly reiterate, we do not have any such intention, and this will not be the outcome of our effort. In fact, we have always been working closely with all international courts and tribunals, and in particular, the ICC. We have to fill the vacuum, uh, and, and, and the ICC here doesn't have the jurisdiction. Uh, so I can imagine that, that you know, we do look into uh, coming up with such a tribunal, uh, as the Netherlands, we will take an uh, open look into this. Uh, it will probably not be easy. Um, uh, it's, there is merit in doing that with as many friends as possible from the international community. Uh, but we will seek to support Ukraine uh, where we can. We are setting up a co collaboration initiative allowing us to fight impunity better, together, also in the future. Because our joint voices must not be a one-off exercise. Our combined efforts must and will not stop here today. We need to translate our shared and strong conviction for justice into a unified answer against impunity. There will be a declaration in due course that 45 states have signed up to, which is a promise to show the stamina moving forward. But if we are to resist the failings of the past to have this stampede that is some sign, sometimes seen of uh, different actors running to crime scenes. We need to be coordinated. We need to have dialogue. We need to have communication. And the dialogue group that is going to be established in due course is an important means uh, 